Hello and welcome back. Because pointer arithmetic is kind of a difficult concept to understand and grasp, I wanted to go through one last example that really demonstrates this concept. It does a good job, and if you understand this example, you're going to have no problem with pointer arithmetic. So the first example that I want to show you is the effect of adding an integer value to a pointer. So when we do, a when we do pointer arithmetic with addition, we can actually see how it works in terms of the addresses. So here in this program, all I'm doing is creating a string, a character array, it's called a string, and then I'm creating a character pointer called p. I'm going through all the entire length of the string, which is multiple. So I'm going through the entire array. Just basic for loops, st st string length of multiple, size of multiple. And then I'm printing out each actual string or character inside that array. And also while I'm doing that, I'm displaying the address and then the address with, it, with the actual number, the i, added to it. So let's look at just the output of this, because the output demonstrates a really good uh, example of pointer arithmetic. So let's go to code blocks and run this. So here we are in code blocks. I cleaned up the code a little bit. I uh, used str length instead of str length because it's a extra include. And I want to just run this. So when I run this, what you'll notice is it's showing you how mem what memory looks like. And it's showing you the values doing the pointer arithmetic. So if you say multiple sub zero, remember multiple just contains a string. But if we look at this and we say, look at the array contents, multiple sub zero is a, multiple sub one is a space, and then the rest are string. That's the array. Right next to this is the same as adding zero to the pointer and dereferencing it, adding one and adding two. And it shows you how you can do pointer arithmetic by dereferencing the pointer itself and adding numbers to it. So the pointer plus seven, dereferencing that, you get G. Then in the third column, I'm showing you the actual addresses as we uh, increment. So the addresses of each element in the array, using the ampersand just on the character array, we see the address, 060, FE, FF for element zero and so forth. And then we look at the addresses if we just add to the pointer itself without dereferencing it. And you'll see the addresses line up. And so then we can look at the syntax to see what's going on here in terms of the first thing that we uh, actually display is the index in the array, which is just a counter. And then we display a percent %c, which is the character at the array. The next thing we're displaying is dereferencing the pointer plus i. So here what we're doing is we're displaying i, and then we're displaying the dereference of pointer plus i the actual value. So we display as the D, just the, con the, the actual counter, and then point C is our dereferencing. So P is our pointer, right? P is our pointer. We're just saying P plus I, pointer arithmetic, and then we're dereferencing it. And then to get the addresses, all we need to do for, to get the array address is say ampersand multiple, and then the index. To get the... Um, first get the address of uh, the pointer. Right here, we just say P plus I to get the actual counter, which is showing you uh, how we're incrementing that P. We just do a P plus percent D. But it does a good job of demonstrating the various ways that the memory uh, that we're pointing to, the addresses, are, are actually displayed and how they're equivalent to the different indexes in an array and the actual pointers. I thought this did a good job. I want to look at one more example that does another good job concerning pointer arithmetic with longs. Because here, these are integers, so all we have to do is add one, and it automatically goes up to the next byte, and so forth. Let's look at what we do we do longs. So in this example, I wanted to also just demonstrate how you can do the same thing with a long and a long pointer. With the character pointer, it was just a string character array. But even for long arrays, which are different sizes, we can still uh, iterate through them using a pointer, and you can see how the number of bytes actually changes. So even though we say we have a long pointer and we add one to it, we're actually adding four bytes to it because a long is a little bit bigger. And we'll see that in this example. So now let's run this example in code blocks. 
So here's our example. Again, we have an integer counter, a loop counter. We have a long array, 15L. We're specifying L by putting the suffix on there. We specify their Ls, their longs. We have a long pointer that's pointing to multiple. Again, because it's an array, we don't have to use the address of operator. We're going to go through the entire long. Here we can't use stir length. We have to use size of. And we actually have to divide it by each spot in the array. So the total size divided by the single spot in the array. That's when we want to jump out because these, remember, are addresses that are incrementing by four bytes each. And again, what we're doing here is we're just displaying uh, both the pointer versus the array and showing you how they're related. And then we're displaying the actual total number of bytes uh, that the long is on our system. And so this, again, just demonstrates how arrays are related to pointers. So if we run this, we're going to see similar output, but what's a little different here is the address size going up by four bytes. So we're going to print out the address and the pointer. So for the address and the pointer plus zero, that's going to be equal to the array sub zero, which is address 6356728. And to dereference the pointer, we'll get the value 15. So P plus zero is still going to be equal to the array sub zero. And then again, we do the same for P plus one, P plus two, and P plus three, all equivalent to the correct uh, spots in the array for the index. The addresses are going up by four bytes, but we can still just add one, two, and three, and we see that the values are the same. And then it tells us this long occupies four bytes, and that's why the addresses are going up by four. But what's significant here is we can still add one to it, and the compiler knows to go to the next address. So if whether we have a long or a character or whatever that particular data type is inside of the system, adding one or two is going to add the correct number of bytes. So just another cool example I wanted to show you, because this uh, pointer arithmetic is really important and it's really useful when iterating or traversing uh, an array. It makes it uh, much cleaner and much more efficient. So I hope this helped. Uh, thank you.